you pulled Amy from the waiting list? Yes, I know. Look, I worked hard to get this exception, with your circumstances and all. It's very rare that a space opens up so quickly. Things have changed. I have to go to Canada for a few weeks. Okay, but unfortunately, once you release Emmy's spot, she starts at the bottom again. Are you sure you want to do this? I don't know. It's, it's what Sarah wanted. Then I wish you and Emmy the best of luck, Mr. Broderick. There, I'm gonna go ask this guy for directions. You can't just run off like this. Come on. Come on. Amazing. 
Burgess. Emmy, come see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. One at a time, one at a time, Emmy. Shh. Hold on, look, I'll get it, I'll get it. There you go, there you go. All right, all right. Damn it! I, I told you, I told you not to take my picture. Baby, baby, look. Oh, look, your mom, your mom bought you a, a bike for your birthday. Just try it, you'll love it. Come on, come on, just, just sit. Your legs work fine. Baby, wait, where are you going? What? What's wrong? What is wrong? Come here. Look. You got to show me. It's okay. It's okay. Look. It's okay. I'm not mad. Okay? Christ. What am I going to do, child? Huh? I know. I know. I got it. I miss her too. Shh, shh, right here. There you go. There you go. There. You want to see her too? There you go. I got it. I got it. There she is. I gotta go make a phone call. Stay put. Hey, just checking in. We talked about this, man. What? I told you I could cover from here. Your wife died three weeks ago. Just take care of your daughter. I think that's what she would have wanted. We won, damn it. We should be celebrating. I mean, Bruce got full custody for Christ's sake. But you didn't have to leave the images of his wife all over the East now, man. Oh, well, she played dirty, too. You know what? No, you're right. Let's just give it all back to her. See what he thinks about that. Cut this shit, Richard. I'm trying to save your job. Save oh, my job? He hired me to be his lawyer, not his emotional Sherpa. You know what? He'll call us in the morning and thank us. Yeah, well, I hope so. Because even when you... When you, man, you I, I, I can't hear you. What was that? What, what did you say? Seth. Seth. Son of a bitch. You know me? God damn it. Emmy, I don't have time for this. Emmy, come on, Emmy. Oh, are you kidding me? You, you got to get out of there. Emmy? here right now. I'm not kidding. Emmy? I'm coming in. Emmy, no, wait! 
God! Emmy, open this door right now. Emmy! Unbelievable. Emmy, what are you doing? <laughs> Who's up there? Just you and me, kiddo. Just you and me. To my loves, we made it. Thank you for believing in us. I know it was tough taking time off of work, but you won't regret it. This treatment is going to change our lives and give our family the chance we never had. Maybe we'll hear our girls say mommy and daddy for the first time. And happy birthday to you, little blue. May your light always guide us. I love you both beyond our dreams. Always by your side, Sarah. Mr. Broderick, thank you so much for coming. I, I think uh, there's a... Oh, that's okay, sweetie. We'll have you cleaned up in no Unbelievable. time. Unbelievable. It's fine. Let's go. I just want to say I'm so sorry. I got to know Sarah over the last year. She was quite an incredible woman. She was. Thank you. This must seem like a dream at times, eh? With everything you've been through, raising a girl without her mother can be incredibly hard. Do you have any family to help? Uh, my parents died, and uh, well, Sarah's parents hate me, so uh, it's just me. Listen, it's really just a learning curve. I will be here 
to help you and Emmy. So we have some very special things we're gonna try over the next week. So I will need you to be on time. Yeah, my, uh, my GPS wasn't working, I'm sorry. Also, no cell phones. Uh, yeah, I still have to work. 30 minutes a day, that's all we ask. It affects the equipment. <sighs> fine, fine. All right, so just some quick family history questions. Sarah already answered, but I just need you to confirm and have you sign the release. Are you taking any medications? Why? Emmy can't tell us what's going on, but the genes might. Uh, yeah, some SSRIs for depression and you know, Xanax for the obvious. Is that for situational depression or chronic? Situational, is this completely necessary? Yes. I'm sorry, but we need all the information we can get. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? I don't know. I'm adopted, so I have uh, no, no idea of my family history. Okay. Uh, do you have any history of alcohol abuse or any addictions? No. Oh. Excellent. This is so exciting, Emmy, isn't it? Understand that this is an experimental treatment, completely voluntary. There's no guarantees of results, although we've been seeing some promising outcomes. All right, so I'm gonna have you sign here and there, and then we'll get started. Also, Dr. Hellman uses this touch app in tandem with the treatment. It's very simple. It might expand Emmy's level of communication. So you just press the picture. Health. And the app gives her a voice. Yeah, Sarah tried one of these kind of things. Emmy's not interested. Well, it's worth a try, though. I'll text you the link so you can download and put it on your phone, okay? So I will also be conducting home visits to monitor Emmy over the course of the treatment. I will be here for you, no matter what. You can call me day or night. Let's go meet Dr. Hellman. Okay. So, looking good. You are gonna do fantastic. This will get easier once she gets used to the sensation of the magnets. But uh, very excited about her chances of success. I hope so. I have to get back to work one way or another. Well, that's the idea. Get everybody back to their lives. Now, if you just uh, prop her up a sec. Focus, come on. Don't be difficult, Emmy. You need to sit still. Here, here, here. There, we go. there you go. Still. Shh. There will be a loud clicking sound. It might upset her a bit. And I'll slowly increase the signal as we continue. Oh, oh, hey. What, that's it? Is she okay? Oh, yeah, she's totally fine. Uh, but Richard... She draws off your energy, so the more calm you are, the better. What a fantastic kid you have here. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Nice work, young lady. We are done for today. Have a lollipop. Uh, she'll be a little sleepy. That's normal, so just get her into a routine for the week. And please use the app. It can open up new avenues of communication. But most importantly, enjoy some time with your daughter. She needs it. Excuse me. Can we do this every time? Let's go in here. She moaned a knowing moan that encompassed a full understanding of astrology. Hey, I love the camera. Whoa! Delight! Excuse me! <laughs> uh, can I help you, sir? I, uh, I saw this book in your window. I was wondering if you could tell me what that, that symbol means. Cool. Let's take a look. That is an hourglass, although in modern 
parlance, uh, we call it the uh, infinity sign. You think about getting a tat? You get tatted up? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, no, I, this inscription was on the cornerstone under the house where we're staying. Had a, an inscription with an S and an H. I'm wondering, does that mean anything to you? Oh, OK. What were you doing uh, under the building? <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of a long story. You know, I got a buddy who uh, works down at the library has access to the town archives to find out what you're set. Damn it, Emmy! Oh, no, 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 that's OK. It's cool. I man. will pay for it, whatever it no, is. No, no, you don't have to pay. This is cool. I couldn't even give this thing away. In fact, look, do you want this? You want that? OK. I'll talk to you. This is a crystal of protection. Uh, you don't have to do no, this. No, no, it's part of the thing. This is a crystal of protection. Use it wisely. I'm serious. Oh, take it. She loves the crystals, dude. Seriously, Tell you what? You know, I know. You know what? You buy this book, crystals free. You're indigo child. Yeah. She's indigo. Look at her. She's got a smoking blue aura, man. You can see auras? Anyone can see auras. Yeah, all you have to do is look closely, man. Empty your cabeza. Clear out. Just filter the BS. OK? Blue, huh? Yeah. Come on. Hey, don't be jelly. You're indigo, too. Although it's looking a little blue-gray, probably doing with some heavy shiz. Everybody does. All right, tell you what. Leave your name, make your mark, whatever it is you do. Put some contact info on here. I'll get back to you to find out uh, whatever I can about that uh, cornerstone thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, I got nothing but time. Now that I believe. Bye, Blue. Emmy? It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing there. Look. It's just the wind. 
It's just the wind. It's okay. Talking, interested in rocks, crystals, and stones when exploring high places. Attracted to animals. Often sees angels and deceased loved ones. Hear that, sir? Just relax, young lady. We'll have you out of here in no time. She's not okay. She's fine. Everything's normal. Yeah, well, it looks painful. Probably not physical, but emotional pain she's reacting to. Amy doesn't understand emotions. Well, she couldn't tell you about them if she, she did. So we open up the pathway so that Amy can communicate her emotions. If they're there, we'll find them. She has the mentality of a five-year-old. You think? I, uh... I had a patient a few years back in my practice who became acutely aware that the people he thought were laughing with him all his life were actually laughing at him. That's a blow, huh? Imagine reliving all those wonderful memories as the butt end of every joke. But he knows who to trust now. He's actually in college doing very well. My point is, that child's father said the same thing about his kid, except I think he said the mentality of a three-year-old, I believe. Sarah and I talked about this. You see, Richard, autism's a communication disorder. When you communicate, you have a sender and a receiver, everything in between is lost. I like to say that this machine helps us sort out all the noise in the middle so we can hear Emmy. She's always trying to say something. Have you tried the app with her yet? Yeah, she, she only likes her, her pictures. Well, that's good. Let her take as many pictures as she can. But please use the app. It'll help us benchmark her progress. You need to be looking for any new developments in her behavior. You get a sucker. What, are you tired? You hungry? All right. Here. There you go. Little blue Stay right here. I'll be right back. You, you hear me? Emmy? But Blue can see the deeper you. And she loves you just like me. Little Blue can't tell you things. 
when you're noisy and you sin. She runs for calm and quiet space. Mm -hmm. Her voice mm -hmm. lives deep within. Mr. Blue can't see like you. The noise drowns all he hears. He loves you in his own crazy way. There you go. So it makes you disappear. Mm -hmm. Mr. Blue and Little Blue. Emmy? You're something of a riddle. Little Blue I know you can talk. When it's still. You just but gotta Mr. tell me. Emmy! All right, that's it. You do this again, you get nada. It calms the haunts inside. Little Blue doesn't look at you. You think she doesn't see. But Blue can see the deeper you. And she loves you just like me. Little Blue can't tell you things when you're noisy in a spin. Emmy? Emmy? Where are you? Emmy? Don't move, you're gonna fall! God damn! Get your ass down here, girl! Quite the neck, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Hey, I know this kind of pressure. <laughs> sure you do. No, really, I do. I was a parent of a child with severe ASD. And that's why she does it, folks. I was 19. I had a little boy. He was nonverbal, like Emmy. And you did the treatment and lived happily ever after? Not quite. I was angry at my boy, at life, at the man who, who left me. I tried to drink myself to death. My deal's different. Maybe. Dr. Hellman taught me that I live in the noise in the middle. The autistic lives in the now. Well, I like the noise, you know? I mean, it makes life interesting, don't you think? All I wanted was a normal child. A child who didn't hit themselves. A child who didn't wake up screaming. I wanted a child who could be seen in public without embarrassing me. I got tired of resenting him. I felt like God had abandoned me. And so, I thought I had no choice but to commit him. Sandra, you know, my expectations, they're pretty damn low. I would be happy just hearing the word daddy. Well, what I'm saying is, if you can't quiet the noise, then you will never hear that word, Richard. So, what did you need? Well, as part of the treatment, we do house checks to see how our patients are progressing. How is she doing so far? You notice any changes? No, nothing, really. I mean, I actually think she's getting worse. Well, the effects are cumulative. It's only the second treatment. You might not see changes right away. Emmy? Sandwich. All right, now your turn. Sandwich. It's okay. It's okay. She might not get it right away, but keep trying. The app might help open things up. Here you go, sweetie. Do you not know how she likes her sandwich? No. She likes her sandwich with a lot of mayo. One slice of turkey, one slice of tomato, cut in half. And how did you know that? Look closely, Richard. The answer's right in front of you. All right, I cannot spend my entire day analyzing volumes of mayonnaise on sandwiches, okay? 
I'm not shaming you. It's just a reality you have to work with. You and Emmy need to get to know each other. You know, honestly, I just, I mean, I don't have time for all this, okay? Sarah is the one who spent her entire life trying to fix Emmy, not me. Maybe it's not about fixing her, but accepting her. I thought I had to let my child go because I didn't think I had a choice. That was 20 years ago. You have choices now. Keep up with the app, do it together, see what happens. I promise it will change your life. See you tomorrow. I'll go get you something. Be right back. Let's go. Keep it moving. Hey, come on. Come on. Just follow him in. There's nothing there. Here. Look at you. You think Maybe mom can shut you up. But I'm done.
You won't regret it. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. Me and Blue love you. Love you. Amy, please comb your hair. You need to flip the photo after you do the task, right? Amy, no. Please, please stop. Please, it's okay, it's okay. God. Just stay put. I gotta get some towels. Why did you do this? Oh my God, are you all right? Show me where you're cut. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. Show me what's wrong. Talk to me, damn it. Really? I know. Rough night? She got her period this morning. Really? Oh, your mother would have wanted to be here. How you doing? You sure she's okay? She looks really groggy. She's fine. This is happening because of the treatment. No, she's just becoming a young woman, right? Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. been doing this for the past five years and these are some of the best I've seen. You I need an explanation for what just happened to my daughter in that room. She had a minor seizure. It can be shocking, but the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. Wait, wait, benefits? Are you kidding me? None of this pseudoscience magnet therapy bullshit matters anyway. All you want is my money. I should just pull her from the treatment right now. <laughs> I know it's difficult, but all of this matters. But these scans are very promising. Please, let the process work. She has been absorbing everything around her for her entire life. She deserves the possibility to tell you about it. Come on. Don't you want to hear? Really? Emmy, come in here. I've got some info. Hey, come on, feed the bird. Right here, don't leave me hanging. God, that's high zero works too. Wow, she is just popping. Look at that glow. <laughs> okay, dude, I talked to my buddy at the library. I got some intel. Yeah. Emmy, 
Very good. Come on, we gotta go. Okay. Hey, so apparently the place that you're staying at built on the ashes of a poor house. This place burned down in 1887. 46 children died. Poor house? Yeah, it's a place where society dumps its indigents, you know, uh, orphans and uh, idiots. I, sorry, that didn't come out right. I, you know what? <clears throat> At least she's not an orphan. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> the uh, keeper of the Sumter house, Mr. Sick as Shit Sumter. Yeah, he was a hardcore Puritan. Yeah, no sex, no drugs, no booze. I mean, sounds boring as hell. This guy was a fanatic. I mean, what makes it worse is that he actually branded the children with that infinity symbol that you found on the cornerstone. Yeah, forever in life, forever in death. Crazy shiz. Man, check it out too. Newspapers indicate that one of the orphans was so angry that he burned the place down just to kill him. Talk about bad energy. How do you know if someone from the other side is trying to talk to you? You mean like, uh, spirits? I don't know. I mean, they, they possess people and they can manipulate objects in the real world to let you know that they're, they're watching or listening. Uh, but it takes a lot of energy to do that, you know? And so uh, most of the spirits just uh, take the easy route, dreams. Dreams? Yeah. It's much easier to reach people in dreams without outside distractions. Why? You getting some funky vibes down there? Maybe. Petey. I don't doubt it. I think that you're sitting on a ton of paranormal energy, okay? Your dreams will fill in what you don't know. Just keep your eyes open. FYI, I am teaching a lucid dream class on Fridays. This is a twofer. I suggest you check it out. We gotta go. Okay. If that place really is haunted, then she's gonna be in the thick of it. And she's an indigo, which means she's a conduit for spirits. Good and bad. Just saying. Emmy. Emmy. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. She likes the crystals. It's normal. No, it's it's not okay. We're fine. Here, this is for you. And this is for you. And this is for your friend. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. That's fine. Emmy, let's go. Come on. Bye, Blue. children have an enhanced third eye shot. This connection gives them an innate telepathic ability to channel emotions and thoughts. Because of their psychic ability, indigo children have been known to attract the unseen. An indigo child's psychic attraction can open portals and allow them to communicate with the dead. Here. Sarah?
just got to stop, you hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Is that you? Are you okay? Look at me. <laughs> Did you do this? Did you kill the cat? Hello, thank you for calling the Legacy Home. This is Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Uh, it's Richard Broderick. I, I, I know we spoke earlier about my daughter, Emmy. Yeah, I, I changed my mind. I, I really need to get her into your facility. I mean, as soon as possible. I'm sorry, but we talked about this, Mr. Broderick. She's at the bottom of the list. Yeah, I know. I, I'll pay. I, who do I need to talk to? It's not about money, Mr. Broderick. Everyone on the list has the same issue. Have you considered other options? Part-time care? There's no other options. I, I, I mean, I, I can't do it anymore. Mr. Broderick, maybe you need some help. There are programs I can recommend. We understand your frustration. No, you don't understand. She doesn't even know I exist. you know that this is not our fault. You destroyed his wife. He's gonna be a bitch to clean up, man. You know the truth. The firm needs to show that they're actively separating ourselves from you. So that's it? 20 years, man? The whole fucking thing? Whatever. Someone's gonna take the fall for this. Stop that! <laughs> Seth, this is bullshit, you know. Can you get her out of here? I'm on the phone, damn it. get you a seat at the table. Amy, for Christ's sake! But it doesn't look good, and you know it. Seth? Okay, what do you want? What do you want?
We're done. Treatment's over. There's no other option. Can't do it anymore. No. I'm never letting her go. She will never leave this house. Never go to college. Never get married. Never drive a car. Kiss a So you regret this? You regret our daughter? What do you want me to do, sir? It's what Sarah wanted. Sarah. Talk to me. I would be happy just here. She doesn't even know I exist. She sees and hears everything you do, and you treat her like a ghost. Emmy? 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 Did you kill the cat? You let go of her, and you let go of me, too. Pseudoscience, magnet therapy, bullshit. What do you want? What do you want? I should just pull her from the truth right now. You are gonna regret this. Sometimes you gotta know when to let go.
happy. You happy? Happy. Do you want to play? Play. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm going to teach you how to ride a bike. OK, here we go. You ready? Oh, look at that. Nice. All right, and just find your balance. Go this way, turn. Whoa, 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 whoa! You okay? Yeah, you are. Look at you go, huh? Sarah, you seeing this? You seeing your daughter? She's riding a bike. Whoa, so, 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 hey, slow down. Hey, let's not go crazy. Woo! Hair. Brush. You know what the hairbrush? You can brush your own hair. Look at that. We don't need that treatment. All we need is each other. What's the fallout? Oh, come on, there's no fallout. I'd just show up if I were you. I'll be there. Hey, Blue! What's this? Sorry. Oh, it's all good, kid. Hey, sweet, she's using the talker tool. Nice. Oh, she's doing real good, bro. I know. What? Nice with the goat. Looking sharp. My wife is talking to me. OK, cool. You needed a therapist? <laughs> She's dead. OK. Sure. So uh, how is she talking to you exactly? I mean, what is she using? Her. Oh, boy. That makes sense. She's a perfect conduit, but you gotta be careful, man. Come here. You gotta make sure that you're talking to the right person or entity or whatever. All I know is spirits can be really tricky. A friend of mine talked to his dead grandma 10 years ago. He swears to this day she's still watching him. Dude can't even jerk off without looking over his shoulder. It's a real tragedy. Ouija board. I know it's cliche, but it's probably the best form of communication with the dead. I don't need a Ouija board. I know it's my wife, all right? I'm gone tomorrow. I'm not leaving without her. OK, let me get this straight. Um, you're going on a road trip with your dead wife. 
You can't take a ghost with you. I mean, maybe you can, but why? Why not? It's complicated. First, you gotta bind the spirit. Do you have a book? Uh, you feeling all right? Never felt better in my life. Okay, sure, sure. All right, well, like I said, um, you just gotta be really careful what spirit you bind with, because once you do, you can't get rid of them. And, uh, oh, the other thing is, make sure that you bind with the right spirit, because if you bind with the wrong spirit, you will be cursed for life. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry. I thought I had a book that could help, but I... I don't. Oh, hey, Tammy. Yeah, that hot yoga book came in. Listen, I gotta help her out and everything. All right. All right, I'll be right back. Here you go. Hold it like this with your pinky out. Take a sip. Here, clink cups and cheer. Ah. It's okay. Accidents happen. Look at us. We're having tea. Okay. Wait. I know, it's exciting. Hold on. Now make a wish and blow it out. Oh, that's one way to do it. Look. Hmm? Look. Butterfly. 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 That's right. Butterfly. Mom. Here. What? Mom. Here. That's right. Your mom's here. You don't need to keep doing this. I know she's here. You and your mom stay here. I'll take care of this. Dad. Hi. I'm sorry, but you look different. Why are you here? I said the treatment is over. We know you're under a lot of stress. But I didn't think you were serious, so I thought I would stop by. Is Emmy okay? She's fine. Can I see her? No, you're not her keeper. Richard, everybody goes to a lot of rough time with this, eh? But don't give up. It's working. We're almost finished. This is about the money, isn't it? Money? No. I, I think you're confused. Are you okay? Oh, I'm not confused. The treatment is over. Stay away from my family. wrong bad Emmy get out of the car come on let's go this is kidnapping next time I won't be so gentle <laughs> listen to me we can't trust her I don't want you going near her again do you understand me 
Do you understand me? <laughs> Go home, sweetheart. It's time to go home. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Hi, Albert. Oh, hey, Z. Those Peruvian bath bombs you ordered came in. Looks like you know one of my patients. What do you mean? Emmy Broderick. Oh, you mean Blue? Yeah. They've been here a few times. Is Blue OK? I hope so. Hope so? What do you mean? It's, it's Emmy's dad. He's been to a lot, and I think he's buckling under stress. Yeah. He weirded me out when he was in here earlier today. What happened? Well, in a nutshell, his wife is using Blue to communicate with him, and he wants to take her home with them. What? Yeah. He wants to take his wife with them. You know, her ghost. How do you even do that? Well, first you bind the spirit. Bind to what? Another entity. He wanted me to sell him a book on conjuring. It didn't feel right. And it, this book was, it's not there. I got to go. I hope Blue's going to be all right. I hope so, too. It's okay, it's okay. Just think about your mom. Bring your mom here.
right, she is here, sweetheart. Sarah? Sarah. Looks like we have a new guest. Emmy. Emmy, you okay? Are you, oh. Richard, Richard, I, I call the police. Then we don't have much time, do we? You're trying to kidnap my child, Sandra. Do you know what that means? Richard, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I know it doesn't seem like it, but the treatment is working. We're going home. We're a family now. Emmy, Emmy, I know you're scared, okay? Just hang in there, okay? Richard! Richard, you've had a mental break. Sarah is dead, okay? But none of this is real. You have to stop. The treatment is working. Dr. Hellman told me today. Okay, Emmy is getting better. Sorry. Mom, you sit here. You see that she's trying to tell you something, Richard? Richard, she's better. She's better. Okay. You have to listen. If you don't stop, you won't hear her. She remembers everything, Richard. The treatment is working.
and he has something to say to you. Dad, dad, daddy. Little Blue doesn't look at you. You think she doesn't see. But Blue can see the deeper you. And she loves you just like me. Little Blue can't tell you things when you're noisy in a spin. She runs for calm and quiet space. Her voice lives deep within. Keeper. Boom, boom, boom. 